As Nigel Amos has made an impressive return to the top of African athletics, retaining his 800-meter title in the absence of injured Kenyan athlete David Rudisha. He spoke to CGTN's Edmund Nyabola, who started by asking him about his latest victory in Asaba. As a defending champion, being able to defend a title, it's a dream come true. There was a bit of a terrible start there. I don't know what happened. What did you feel about that? I focused on my race. I got my race done. I don't want to really talk about the rest. I don't know anything. I just focus on my race. I was in the start line. I focus on the race. But uh, I'll say, from my experience, what I hear, when they said on marks, I guess the guys from lane 5, lane 6, and the, probably they didn't hear it well. And then I thought maybe the race would be recalled too. But it wasn't recalled. By the end of the day, race have to, have to go on. And it went on. You've struggled with the injury and this victory. What does it mean for you? Um, as I said, as a defending champion, be able to defend a tiger. Uh, it's the most interesting thing ever in athletic career. I'm happy to have defended I'm happy to have made the team to go represent our beautiful continent, Africa, the Continental Cup. It's a defending champion again. I'll be going there hungry to make it happen again. What do you do from now until uh, September the 8th when you go to the Continental Cup? Um, not yet confirmed. I don't think I'll be racing the Diamond Lake. Probably I just wait for Continental Cup and stay because um, I've been suffering with injuries. I don't want to overdo it and end up being back to zero. But then again, I don't want to be pulling back. Maybe there's still more I could do. It's a really crucial stage as an athlete to know what the board can do, what the board can't do, because I don't want to be upset again.